Welcome to WNBA Basketball on 2K Sports. Tonight, we'll see the Dallas Wings as they play against the Connecticut Sun. In the booth with Tim Swartz and Brian Benefitemi, I'm Blake Suniga, and we're glad to have you along for the ride. This matchup could lead to a high-scoring game, two elite offensive squads. But in matchups like this, normally it's actually the defense that'll be the difference. Well, the way these offenses operate, even quality defenses will have a hard time slowing them down. An old-school big, Jones loves to mix it up down low. And here's a Gunbawale. Right side, Howard. Six to shoot. Arjun Bawale. The three-pointer off the mark. Mitchell with it. Picked up by Arjun Bawale. Here in the first with a little over a minute played so far. Pass to Howard. And here's Burton. Outside Agumawale. Brown inside, covered by Carrington. That one drops for her. Using her lengthy wingspan to her advantage, Brown is able to dominate down low. Thomas outside. Jefferson. From outside the arc. The shot misses. It's Burton. She's covered by Jefferson. Pass to Brown. Burton. Outside Agumawale. Sinks the three-pointer. Well, whether Enrique is off the dribble, screen, catch and shoot, spotting up, whatever. She hits threes pretty much every way possible. Now here's Jefferson. Mitchell outside. Pass to Jones. And stolen by Brown. Now Burton. First quarter of basketball, just over two and a half minutes played so far. Arike Agumbawale on the wing. Green by Howard. Agumbawale from long range. Pass to Howard. From deep. Mitchell grabs the board. Connecticut trailing. Now here's Thomas. Jones outside. Now Carrington. Inside. To end the drought. Good D from Kalani Brown. Terrific job defending the basket that time. It's not an easy task stopping her when she's headed to the rim. It's Burton. No scoring yet from her, but that's likely to change. Pass to Brown. Makes it off the glass. The easy look off the pass from Howard. Great awareness leads to the bucket. And the Sun call time here.
Connecticut has possession. It's a five-point game. Mitchell, right side. They need this. Good work there as it goes. What control from Mitchell there. Even with the contact, she stays with it. Have to admire that kind of effort. And here's Burton. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for her. Pass to Cannon. To the inside. Poked away. Stolen by Brianna Jones. Now here's Thomas. Tight defense on her. Carrington with the ball. Back to Thomas. And she takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Well, just taking what she sees. Have to appreciate how Thomas breaks down defenses and pick and rolls. Outside, Agumawale takes the three. Good on the three-point shot. A wide open three. They need much better communication defensively. Now here's Thomas. Mitchell outside. Pass to Jones. Now Jefferson. Five to shoot. From the baseline. And there's another one for the Sun. Nice feed as Carrington finds a teammate with an even better look. That's just good offense. It's Burton. She's covered by Jefferson. Now Cannon. Pass to Howard. Agunbawale. She's covered by Mitchell. Agunbawale, no good. And so here is Connecticut. Trailing by two. Oh! And you can count it. She'll go to the line with a chance to make it three. What poise from Carrington. So good at absorbing contact and finding different ways to score. She's getting her first free throw attempt of the game here. And the free throw is good, now leading by one. Continuing to work on her game from the line, Carrington brings great intensity for her team. Now Burton. She hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. Howard. Solid play on the low block, and that one's good. Good ball movement. She put that pass in the ideal spot, and I can guarantee you her teammate appreciates it. Now here's Jefferson. Mitchell outside. Makes no mistake on the open jump shot. So comfortable in catch and shoot situations. When Mitchell gets a clean look, she doesn't hesitate. It's Burton. She's covered by Jefferson. In her foot. Defensive violation. And it's whistled a kick. It's Burton. Howard up top, guarded by Jones. Howard misses. The Sun with the lead. Here's Mitchell. Jones can't hit. Lopez and a shawl outside. Pass to Burton. To the wing on the left. Howard guarded by Jones. Howard gets the bucket. The lead changes hands once more. There have been no separation between these teams tonight. Yeah, and it's made for one heck of an entertaining game, even when it hasn't been the best basketball. Yeah, at least it's been close. Now here's Mitchell. And here's Endor Fall. Looking for her first basket still in this one. Jones misses. Now 
now Cannon. Pass to Burton. Lopez Seneschal with it. Out to Howard. Fires for three. And it's good. Coming off the assist by Lou Lopez Seneschal. I like the way she's taking advantage of what the defense is giving her, and she's been a key contributor for them this quarter. Timeout called the Sun. And so here is Connecticut. A four point game. Pass to Davis. Now Petty. The three. Cans it from downtown. A key make for Shea Petty. Those threes going in, it changes how you have to defend her. Outside Howard. Here's Lopez and a shawl. Here's Segrist. Guarded by Jones. Down low. And Dallas again with the bucket. And guys, her consistent shooting, it's helped them take this lead. And seeing the progression of Natasha Howard throughout her decade in the WNBA, man, it's been fun to witness. Yeah, she didn't start much in her first four seasons, but she has turned herself into a powerful force out on the wing. And North Hall, she sinks the 11-footer. I love seeing Petty share the wealth, looking to get her teammates going. Dallas with the ball. Lopez and a shawl outside. Outside Howard. Segrist. He's got a clear path. Finished off the break. Well, excellent work out in the open floor. Petty knows how to finish. And they can go two for one. Most importantly, play it smart. Lopez and a shawl. Petty defending. Pass to Howard. Ball's knocked loose. Petty with it. And it's Howard picking her up. There's the triple. Rebound Dallas. Dangerfield with it. She hasn't yet put up any points in this one. It's two seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Miss Seneschal. That falls. Nice feed that time from Natasha Howard. I love the confidence that Lopez Seneschal shows. Ready to fire as soon as she gets the rock. Pass to Jones. Over Segrist. And it's good! That's the buzzer! Wow! And what a bonus for them to end the, the quarter as she beats the buzzer. Now that is how you use every last second on the clock. So it's a tie game as we end the first. And we'll be back in just a minute with the start of the second quarter. Neither team able to jump out ahead as we begin the second quarter. And guys, what's your take on the Sun so far? Really good sign for them. They've gotten a boost from their bench. 
Always nice to have firepower coming from the reserves, and they've had firepower and then some so far. So it's Dallas now. Lopez Sinishal outside. Pass to Kuia. Argun Bawale. Back to Kuia. Here's Argun Bawale. Four on the clock. Screen by Kuia. The trade. And again, it's Dallas with a three. The D has gotten a little lax defending the three-point shot at that end. Yeah, three of the last five baskets they've allowed coming from beyond the arc. Now here's Brown. Pass to Thomas. Lopez Seneschal outside. Dangerfield. The rebound by Harris. The Sun trailing. On the wing, Shea Petty. Defended by Lopez Seneschal. Here's Petty. Gets a three-pointer to fall. A solid distributor. Harris understands her teammates depend on her to get them involved. Lopez Seneschal outside. Asto Gumbawale lets it go from deep. Melissa Thomas with the rebound. You don't want to give up that kind of look often. They're very lucky they didn't get burned. And there's a pick. Here's Harris. And she misses her first shot of the game. Outside of Gumbawale. To the paint. Kawia. She's covered by Brown. The wings with another miss. And so here's Connecticut. In the second quarter, they've given up just three points. Pass to Petty. Harris. And here's Endor Fall. And another three for Connecticut. There's no excuse for leaving a shooter like her open beyond the arc. None. Outside of Gumbawale. Back to Dangerfield. Luia with it. Launches it. The wings with another miss. The Sun with the lead. Pass to Thomas. Here's Endor Ball. Out of bounds. It'll go to the wings. Wings ball. Substitution on the court. And it's the wings ball. For those joining us, we're in the second quarter with just about three minutes gone by. There's a Goomba Wale with the three. That one's in. Only her fourth make against nine total shots. Well, Agumba Wale's scoring outbursts are getting more and more common. And I attribute that to her advanced offensive identity. Now here's Jefferson. Wyatt so far offensively searching for first points of the game. Here's Thomas. Another shot. And that's two points on the layup. It's tough for defenders to neutralize Thomas's impact. She plays every game like it's her last. And I think you have to admire that if you're a fan of basketball or really sports in general. Here's Segrist. Outside, Agumawale. To the middle. Here's Kuia. That one falls, coming off Arike Agumbawale's nice feed. You think you have a walk stop? No way. Too skilled, too long, too strong. Jefferson outside. Stolen. Here's Agumbawale. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Upload that one online. Okaman Wale flashing some sick moves. Plus she gets to the hoop. Jefferson outside. In 
inside. Here's Thomas. The rebound by the wings. And they have certainly been looking locked in offensively. They sure have, staying aggressive and playing in control. Burton gets the bucket. She did so well to lead her teammate right to the ideal spot. That's the kind of playmaking coaches like to see. Now here's Jefferson. She's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. That's the end or fall. And there's the call on Kowale. That's her first foul. Team's first. First team foul. Substitution on the court. Dallas on D. They lead by four. Now here's Carrington. Six on the shot clock. Here's Mitchell. Busts the J after a cagey pass fake. With a strong feel for the game, Mitchell's able to find her shot out of the pick and roll. Pass to Cannon. Brown sets a screen. Side of Wale. And here's Cannon. Shoots a three. And again, it's the wings from deep. They've given up so many threes today. Their defensive rotations on the perimeter have been abysmal. Jefferson outside. Down low. Thomas, and she drops in the layup off the glass. Keeps defenders uncomfortable, and I think it's because of Thomas's ability to play assertive but composed around the rim. It's Burton. She's got five. Here's Cannon. Her first shot coming late, and there are the wings Emma with Cannon. another bucket. Here's Jefferson. Quiet so far offensively, searching for first points of the game. Pass to Mitchell. Just five on the clock. Back to Jefferson. Carrington with the ball. Jefferson. Thomas with the ball. From deep three-point range. That miss is her fourth of the game. She's shooting three for seven from the field. It's Burton. She's covered by Jefferson. Outside of Wale. Brown. Shoots over Jones. And again, it's Dallas converting. Backed by a, a strong body frame, Brown has no problem with the occasional contact finish. Now here's Carrington. Jefferson outside. Fires from deep. And the Sun get it back. Back to Thomas. Jones. And there it is. One of the most talented facilitating forwards in the WNBA. Thomas has such a unique skill set. Time called here, the Wings decide to talk it over.
It's Burton. She has five. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. Pass to Cannon. Brown with the screen. Outside, Agumawale. Over Mitchell. It's Burton. Now Brown. Outside, Agumawale. Just five to shoot. Shoots the three. Here's Cannon. Missed it, even after all those chances. Obviously, they're evenly matched teams on the interior. The rebound numbers are very even. Yeah, impressive effort from both teams on the glass. Defensively, they're on their heels every time the ball comes inside. And if they don't start showing some aggression, things are just going to get worse. Pass to Howard. Brown up top. Agun Bawale. She's covered by Mitchell. Outside Agun Bawale. Knocked loose. Burton. Shoots over Jefferson. The wings with another miss. Now here's Mitchell. Now here's Jefferson. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for her. And there's the three second call. This one gonna be on the defense. Well, dependable players like Tiffany Mitchell really lift your team. You can count on her to work hard and produce points. Pass to Carrington. And here is Mitchell. Shot clock at six. Jefferson. She nails it. They're finding lanes to the hoop every time down. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. Or at least some fight. Now here's a Wale. 14 points for her. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Trying to get back on track. And she gets it to go. Such a signature part of Agumba Wale's game. She's hit many game winners with that exact shot. And so it's a close game as we wrap up the first half of play. Wings out in front. They lead by two. Stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter going. We have a close ball game on our hands as we get set for the second half to get underway. And Arike Agumba Wale has been sensational here. She put on a show from three point range in the first half. We'll see if the halftime break had any cooling effect on her. Well, we'll soon find out because I guarantee they're going to keep feeding her the rock beyond the arc until she does cool off. And it's been a back and forth game with no ground given through the first half. Third quarter getting started here. Pass to Brown. Burton. 
Outside, Agun Mawale. Add another field goal to her total. Makes it seven for 14, shooting 50%. For any under six foot guard like Ogobanwale, the teardrop is a must. Allows you to score over bigs in the paint. Thomas, no good. Dallas in the lead. And here's Burton. Pass to Cannon. Brown with it. Arike Ogunbowale on the wing. Ogunbowale's double. And the basket by Brown. Well, using recognition and awareness, Agumba Wale is able to make the unselfish delivery. Jefferson outside. Mitchell outside. To the inside. It falls to her field goal of the night. Now shooting five for eight. Tremendous vision for Mitchell to spot the wide-open teammate. That kind of unselfishness is contagious. To the paint, Howard. That one falls, coming off Arike Agumbawale's nice beam. Nothing but money for him to start the half. They're three for three. Jefferson outside. Pass to Jones. Over Brown. And that one's good, Jones. Love the concentration from Jones on the offensive end. Really productive tonight. And during the 2020 Bradenton bubble, Arike Ogunbowale won the scoring title. So impressive doing it in just her second year at just 23 years old. Arike uh, holding off Asia Wilson down the stretch of that season, averaging just about 30 during the last four games to secure the scoring title. It's Tiffany Mitchell on the wing. Jones outside. Pass to Jefferson. Harrington. Back to Jefferson. Here's the three. Hits the three-point bomb. They've had a solid start to the second half offensively. Gotten good looks and hit three or four of them. And the wings call time here. Right around three minutes into this second half. Up top of Gumbawale, shoots over Jones. And again, it's Dallas converting. Five straight now, coming out of halftime, rolling. The Sun trailing. Now Thomas, she's got six. Pass to Jones. 
Here's Harrington. Down to five on the shot clock. They get it again. And the ball out of play. The wings will have it. Third quarter of basketball here. A little under three and a half minutes gone now. Pass to Howard. Over Mitchell. And she tries off the glass, but it's no good. Now Thomas. Now Jefferson. Clock at six. Pass to Carrington. Now here's Jones. She's covered by Brown. Good on the bucket. These inside looks are what Jones is all about, and she knows how to outwork the defense. It's Burton. He has five. And here's Cannon. There's Agumbo Wale with the three. That shot off the mark. Yeah, the great shooters, they know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice there. Yeah, not very good defensive coverage that time. The team got lucky. Ahead, here's Cannon. That shot off. Excellent D from Melissa Thomas. Mitchell, she's covered by Brown. Mitchell with it. Brown's there. Kicks it out to Mitchell. The three. Yes, and a nice assist from Brianna Jones. And when Mitchell's threes are falling, she's nearly unguardable. There's just so much you have to account for. Now here's Agumba Wale. She's covered by Mitchell. And it's Arike Agumba Wale with the triple. Another three. And the D hoping they don't heat up from out there like they did in the first half. Thomas left side. Both teams deciding to change it up. First team foul. Substitution on the court. Petty defended by Lopez Seneschal. Here's Jones. Jefferson outside from downtown. And another shot. And Thomas with the layup. That's some tenacity inside, battling for the second chance points. Dallas leading. Now Burton. She's got five. It's Lou Lopez and a shawl on the wing. Howard the screen. Here's Cannon. Dallas the rebound. And the foul called on Petty. That's her first foul. Teams first. First team foul. Pass to Burton. Howard, three-pointer, and she's good on the three ball. She's finally getting the feel for the deep ball. Her second three of the half right there. Jefferson outside. Now Jones. She's covered by Brown. Shoots a fader. Shots good by Jones. Lopez and a shawl with it. And there's the call on Carrington. And that's her first foul. First personal foul, team's first. Second team foul. Substitution on the court. Pass to Segrist. Howard. And here's Lopez Seneschal, covered by Harris. Shot clock at five. Lopez Seneschal, that's good. It seems like Lopez Seneschal has every shot in her bag. She can create with the best of the best. 
Lou Lopez Seneschal, a historic draft pick in 2023. Yeah, the first Mexican-born draftee in WNBA history. She blazed her own trail, went to a mid-major school as a grad transfer, ended up at Connecticut. And uh, Shinasal's elite shooting ability, that's what got her here to the WNBA. It's Burton. She's got five. Now here's Segris. So she gets the whistle, contact on the way up, two shots, next. And when you look at the college career of Maddie Segrist, she put up video game numbers. It was like she was playing 2K as a senior, led the nation at just about 30 points per game. Uh, Maddie's average over her four years, over 24 points per game. Her ability to score a huge reason the Wings took her third overall in 2023. The first one falls. Well, one thing we know for sure about Maddie Segrist is that she's a natural scorer. Put the ball in her hands, and she will find a shot. And so she hits both. And Connecticut has possession. They trail by seven. Pass to Brown. Harris guarded by Dangerfield. Now here's Jones. That three off the mark. Even without that three ball dropping for her, the defense should have done way more on that last play. Yeah, I think he's got to be better as a coach. And Steve Seager having that much space to get her shot off. Now here's Dangerfield. Seven point game, the biggest lead in the game. Here's Harris. She hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. And the foul on Harris. That is her first foul of the game. Team's first. Third team foul. And here's Dangerfield. Pass to Segrist. Outside Howard. Down low, stolen by Jones. In transition, here come the Sun. Now Petty, she's got eight. Hands the shot with nobody near her. Perfect screen there, set her up with a terrific look. Yeah, but that's a bad job by the defender to not fight through that screen to contest. You want to see more effort there. Now here's Lopez Seneschal. Pass to Howard. It's Lou Lopez and a shawl on the wing. Five on the clock. The 19-foot shot. And she hits the jump shot. The Sun trailing. Here's Brown. Harris with it. Guarded by Dangerfield. Now Jones. Harris. Down to five on the shot clock. And there's another one for the Sun. Well, it's obvious that Harris doesn't lack confidence, guys, especially when it comes to shooting the ball. Danger field outside. Pass to Lopez Seneschal. Luio with it. Here's Howard, Petty defending. Howard, that's good. Big scoring game from Howard wow. since her 2018 season when Howard was named the most improved player. We've seen so many of these nights from Natasha. And we've watched three so far in this one. It's the Wings up by seven. And we've got more exciting basketball action coming your way right after the break.
Smith with the ball. Pass to Harris. Now here's Petty. For three. That one is good. She has missed only one of her six shots from the floor. I'm not sure that was the play they had set up, but it was too good a look to pass up. Now here's Dangerfield. And again, it's the wings from deep. Answering the three with one of her own crystal, Dangerfield, playing with fire. And here is Petty. Now here's Harris, guarded by Dangerfield. Now here's Harris. He's guarded closely. Pass to Petty. Just five to shoot. It falls for the sixth time in seven tries this contest. That's an 86% accuracy mark. Lopez and Ashal outside. Now Segrist. Arjun Lawale. She's covered by Brown. Now here's Kuya. D right on her. Here's Agumba Wale. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Don't let her 5'8 height fool you. Agumba Wale, really good in the paint. Pass to Brown. Thomas. Over Segrist. And again, it's Connecticut. Well, tired legs affect you at the defensive end first, and that's what's happening here. You nailed it, and as much offense as we saw early, we're seeing even more of it here late. Now here's Lopez Seneschal. Here's a Wale. Now here's Kuya. Goes up from the top of the key. It's rebounded by Alyssa Thomas. This game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding is one thing that's gone in their favor. Yeah, effort and determination on the glass, they, they really can compensate for a lot of deficiencies. Now here's Brown. Petty, defended by Lopez Seneschal. Petty can't hit. Dallas in the lead. Screened by Kuia. Akubawale from long range. And it's Petty with the rebound. And Connecticut has possession. Brown inside. Guarded now by Agumba Wale. Here's Petty. And the three off target. Dangerfield right side. Here's Seagrass. Yes, and it's Crystal Dangerfield picking up the assist. Wow, the body Crystal control from Seagrass. Impressive stuff. Pass to Brown. And here's Thomas. There's the three. Nice shot by Petty. She's putting on a commanding performance here. She's now hit two three-pointers in each half now. Now here's Agumba Wale. Here's Dangerfield. She gets it in there. Zero fear from Dangerfield, mixing it up down low. We've played just over three and a half minutes now in this fourth quarter. Thomas the screen. Here's Harris, buries it from about 10 feet away. And the wings call time here.
and here's Burton. Outside Howard. Pass to Brown. Agunba Wale. Here's Cannon. Drills it from outside. An improving distributor. I love seeing Agumba Wale put her court vision on full display. Now here's Thomas. And she can't answer back the three-pointer offline. Inside, Brown. Oh, yes, she did. Five up, five down for her so far. She picks her out brilliantly with that feed inside. Checking in for your son. Brianna Jones. Dijane Carrington. Jefferson outside. Pass to Thomas. Shot clock at five. Petty. That one falls, coming off Alyssa Thomas' speed. Great quarter for her at the offensive end, trying to will them back. Now Burton. And that's a foul called on Jefferson. Right, Jefferson. That is her first Jefferson foul of the game. Team's first. first team foul. Checking in for your Connecticut South. Number 30, Tiffany Mitchell. Here's Cannon. Six to shoot. It's Burton. She's covered by Jefferson. Pass to Brown. Howard with the ball. Good for her ninth make and just 12 shots and even 75% shooting. Not much of a distributor, but Brown's feel for the game is strong enough to help her spot open teammates. Now here's Thomas. Here's Harrington. Jones, she's covered by Brown. Jefferson outside. No good with the triple. That's a look you can't pass up. It's also one you shouldn't miss. It's Burton. She's covered by Jefferson. Arike Agumbawale on the wing. Agumbawale is doubled. Shot clock at six. Pass to Cannon. Jacks up a three. And the rebound goes to the Sun. If only she can improve on what's been a shaky day for her, they could really stretch this lead out, don't you think? And here's Burton. Wale. She's covered by Mitchell. Pass to Cannon. Five to shoot. And here is Howard. Second shot opportunity. And she sinks the layup. Just all will and desire from Howard there. Outworking the defense on the offensive glass. Now here's Jefferson. The three ball in there. Tiffany Mitchell with the assist. We're seeing her bring that shooting percentage up now, which is good to see because the first half was a real struggle. For her. Time called here. The Wings decide to talk it over.
pass to Cannon. Howard. Now Burton. Six on the shot clock. Now Cannon. Beyond the arc. Bangs home the trifecta. I can't believe it. They cannot forget about her like that. She's not going to miss that open look. To the inside. Here's Thomas. Gets that one to fall. That's a six field goal. And she has shot the ball 12 times. If you get open, Jefferson will find Mariah a pass first guard. Pass to Brown. Now here's a Google Wale. Offline with a three. Mitchell outside. To the wing, right side. Now Thomas. Guarded by Howard. Thomas, good. A competitive, passionate player. Thomas fires her team up and keeps them ready for big moments. I love that about her. Now here's the Kuba Wale. Pass to Cannon. Side Howard. Kuba Wale. Kuba Wale is double. It's Burton. She's covered by Jefferson. They grab their own miss. Burton can't hit. Connecticut trailing. Thomas with the ball. Back to Jefferson. Launches a three. It's in! And what a sensational bucket to bring them within one. It's the point guard. Jefferson calling her own number. Now here's a Google Wale. She's covered by Mitchell. to Cannon. Back to Luba Wale. That's tipped. It's stolen by Alyssa Thomas. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Back to Jefferson. Jones. She's covered by Brown. Thomas left side. Jefferson outside. They get a hand on it. Right side. Miss. That's a shot she had to take. No question. The decision was good. Just didn't execute. Yeah, you can't let them hold the ball and just milk those seconds away. Nope. And you've got to foul. It's going to come down to free throws. Pressure situation. Time called here. The wings decide to talk to
gets the first. And that will put them up too. And she hits both free throws. And it's a three-point game. That last free throw was critical. Their only choice now is to go for the three to tie. Timeout called the Sun. Yeah, what's your take, guys? With this much time left, they should be able to draw the play and get themselves a decent look for three-point game. Still, the D, it, it, they're waiting for it. And a contested three, it's never an easy shot. Janae Carrington. And so it's Dallas who's straight by with the win. This win, such a tremendous emotional boost. It's really an accomplishment and crazy finish to take a growth game like this and simply deflate an entire building. So that's going to do it for this one, folks.